I hope you enjoy my process and how I created two jellyfish resin sculptures using the Squid Poxy Cast 2.0. Squidcast 2.0 is a two-component, high-build, medium-viscosity, real crystal-clear casting resin that can go up to two inches. Although for one of my resin sculptures, I actually pushed it to 2.5 inches. Always follow the instructions when mixing any epoxy resin. For this sculpture, I added a few drops of blue alcohol ink just to give it a slight color of the ocean. I placed the jellyfish, the coral reef and the LED lights in the mold first and then did my first layer. For this sculpture I decided to do two layers. That way the first layer would set the jellyfish and the coral reef where I want them and the second layer will cover them up. I waited until the third day to mix my second layer just to make sure that it was set. And once again, I added a few drops of alcohol ink to give it just a touch of that blue like the ocean. Now it's time for the pour. And this layer is going to cover up all the seashells that I added in between and my jellyfish. The mold I'm using is approximately 9 inches wide and it's almost 3 inches thick. So the Squid 2.0 worked perfect for it. The jellyfish sculpture turned out amazing. They look like they're just floating in the ocean around the coral reef. Super happy how this sculpture turned out. Pretty soon, we're gonna try sculpture number two. Second sculpture, I added some different lights, different colored jellyfish, and this time decided to mix enough of the 2.0 to fill the whole mold, which is almost three inches in height. The only problem with this is that the items will float, so I had to really be careful and babysit all my seashells and my little jellyfish to make sure they didn't float completely out of position. turned out very different from the first because I did one solid pour. So it allowed the jellyfish to actually float partially out of the mold and sit and cure on top so that the 